Okay, let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings w, where w has length at least three, and its third symbol is zero. So as an example, if we have zero, 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 its third symbol is a zero, and that's okay because it has length at least three in order to have a third symbol in the first place, and the third symbol is zero. If we have zero, zero, one, it has length at least three, but its third symbol is not zero, and so therefore will not be accepted by the DFA. So how are we going to build a DFA for this? Let's focus on the conditions of being in the language and add all missing transitions later. So to have length at least three, that means I need to have a transition here, then another transition, then another transition at the very minimum. And there clearly are strings that have length exactly three and have third symbol zero, namely triple zeros. So therefore, this, this state right here needs to be a final state. And we need to have this transition be a zero specifically because that's what the requirement is right here. But the first two characters don't matter because it doesn't, it's not specified in the description of the language. So we can have these be either zero or one. But now let's think about the other transitions. If we have this third symbol be a zero, it doesn't matter what the rest of the string is because the language doesn't specify anything about it. And so this last state can have anything after it and it still should be accepted. And so therefore we're going to self loop on that. But then if we have a one right here, then that has violated this condition and there's no way of fixing it. And so therefore this needs to go to a dead state, which is going to loop on zero and one and never accept. And so therefore this is a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all strings, which have length at least three and the third symbol is zero.